We're summing up the political winners and losers according to this panel in 2020. Don Bosch, let's start with you on the national stage. That's where we are at this point in the program. Who is the political winner for 2020? Well, I, there are a number of people that came to mind, but the one person that I really thought was transformational uh, in politics, and particularly, of course, on my side of the stripe, on the Democratic side of the stripe, is Stacey Abrams. What she took in terms of what she did with Georgia and expanding the electorate and engaging the Democratic Party to vote, switching it from a, a red state historically uh, to a blue state presidentially, and we'll see in a matter of a week whether she was, will be successful uh, on the Senate side at some level, either with one or two, um, but uh, just the most remarkable, amazing job of energizing voters. And if we can, as Democrats, sort of copy that, that program in, in states you know, like North Carolina, eventually like Tennessee, because Ramsey's right, we've got some organizations here doing some fine grassroots work. We just have a long way to go. Um, that we're going to see a, a shift as, as uh, the country changes. But Stacey Abrams was a pretty clear choice for me. Susan, how about you, the winner of 2020, politically speaking, on the national stage? Well, it would have to be the National Republican Congressional Committee and uh, the House, the, the uh, U.S. House Republicans. There was predictions all around from all the pollsters and, and everyone that there's going to be a dire year in the House where we're going to lose you know, 20 something seats. Instead, in fact, we picked up 10 or 11 seats. It only takes um, 218 to have a majority in the House. And the Democrats have 222. And we have 211, something like that. So it was clear, I think, that it was an anti Trump vote uh, that did not uh, go down ballot to uh, congressional seats or really even to the Senate seats uh, by and large. So Clearly, the House Republicans did a magnificent job and uh, were able to stave off a, a real uh, predicted loss. Eddie Smith, also a Republican, your take on the national winner, 2020. So I am going to fix Time Magazine's mistake and say that the uh, frontline workers and emergency responders are really the winner nationally this year. I mean, they have dealt with an unprecedented uh, level of pandemic that our country's endured. Uh, they have worked long, hard hours. They've put their lives on the line. So uh, uh, I believe that they, above all, deserve uh, the biggest award for this year. I also have down, you know, President Trump and Operation Warp Speed. Uh, you, you can't undermine uh, what has happened this year. But then I also put down, you know, Vice President-elect uh, Kamala Harris, as well as uh, uh, President-elect Joe Biden. I mean, all of them won in some way this year. Uh, it doesn't matter where you strike. But Ultimately, it's the frontline workers that are the biggest winners um, that we should all be thankful for this year. Ramsey Cohen. Yeah, um, uh, you know, I'd, I'd echo uh, Eddie's sentiment about frontline workers. That's absolutely correct. But uh, on the left, and it's a little odd that we just won a presidential race, and that's not uh, my big winner for the year. But it, it, it almost have to be Stacey Abrams. I don't know how you can really make a choice. It'd be anyone else. Her ability to organize, to get uh, people engaged in the political process that haven't been in the past is just incredibly impressive. She's done a phenomenal job, um, and so she would be my big winner. And I, I hope to see her take on a larger, more meaningful uh, leadership role within the party on a national stage moving forward. 90 seconds to get through our losers. Ramsey, who's your loser on the national stage in 2020? This one's my favorite one because it's Donald Trump, and he didn't want to admit that he lost, so he made us keep going through the process and seeing him lose again and again. So that's that's my big loser, and I'm happy Eddie about Eddie Smith, it. how about you? Uh, the American people because of the loss of Donald Trump. All right, <laughs> Susan Richardson-Williams. Well, if the, if the House were the winners, it's got to be the loser. It's got to be Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Don Bosch. Trump times 100, not even <laughs> close. All right. Those are the political winners and losers of 2020 at the national level. We are back with the politician of the year from this crew for 2020 and also the issue of the year. Stay with us. We'll be back right after this.